Grade 4 math, number 50, prime and composite numbers. Well, what is a prime or a composite number? Well, here's the rules. A prime number is a whole number, it has to be bigger than 1, that has only two factors, itself and 1. No smaller numbers can be multiplied together to get it as an answer. So, you know how prime rib is like really good meat? So, prime is like supposed to be best, it's number 1. So think of prime number one, and you'll remember that a prime number is the only one that can be multiplied by itself, and one, no other number can be multiplied to get it, okay? So what's a composite number? Well, a composite number is a whole number that is bigger than one, that has more than two factors. Yes, smaller numbers can be multiplied together to get it as an answer. Think of a composition, like a music composition or a written composition, like an essay, and how many things it's made of. So, think of a composite is like a composition. It's made up of many things. So, composite is many things, and prime is just one, okay? Well, on that note, there is a thing called the sieve of Eratosthenes. Eratosthenes was a Greek mathematician over 2,000 years ago, and he found a way with this chart that you could find all the prime numbers under 100. If you follow these rules, and you can pause this video right now to write those down, and then start with 1 and go across to 10, and then get all the multiples of 10 coming down like that, and then all the other numbers coming down, so that you've got 1 up here in this corner and 100 down in this corner, and then follow these steps and you will find all the prime numbers that are under 100. You just follow these. So if you want to pause it right now and do that, you can do that, okay? Did you also know that Eratosthenes was the first to accurately figure out the circumference of the Earth? He also figured out the distance to the Sun and made the first world map. Pretty smart guy, huh? So, that is his sieve to find prime numbers under 100, okay? So let's ask ourselves some questions, okay? Can a composite number have three factors? Yes, the factors for 6 are 2, 3, and 6. 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 is a factor of itself. Are only odd numbers prime numbers? Well, let's look. Are all these numbers odd numbers, all the green circled ones? Do you see any even numbers in there at all? No, they're all odd numbers. You know why? Because if they were even numbers, then they would be able to be divided by 2, and that would immediately make it a composite number, because 2 is bigger than 1, okay? Is every multiple of 7 a composite number? Well, 2 times 7 is 14, then 21, then 28, then 35. Yes, a number bigger than 1, or 7, is multiplied to get it. Because 7 times 2, 7 times 3, 7 times 4, 7 times 5. So because we're saying 2, 3, 4, 5, those are all numbers bigger than 1. And that ends up making it a composite number. Okay, not 7. The multiples of 7 is what they're saying, okay? So, remember, a prime number is a number that's a number one number, okay? And a composite number is composed of many factors. And you will be able to remember the difference, okay? See you next video. Bye.